She's no Helen Shivers. Okay? No, no one is. No. At summer's end, I plan to move to New York City, where I'll pursue a career as a serious actress. Two hours later. Let's just pretend we were never here. She's an actress. Hey Petty Pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We're back with another video in our tier ranking movie characters series. This time we're hooking up with the characters in I Know What You Did Last Summer. I know what you did last summer. Y'all, this movie was hot and I want to talk about it. If you haven't watched our commentary to I Know What You Did Last Summer, yeah. go find it. Yeah, on our channel. we'll link it above or below for you to watch. These characters truly are iconic. So I have a feeling that a lot of them are going to end up at the top. Are you ready to put these iconic characters into tears? I'm so excited. Well, first up, we have <laughs> Julie James. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? Coming with the bad bitch magic, yeah. and I can't stand it. Gonna put these holes in the panic. And you know what, y'all? <laughs> Some of you are so rough on my girl, Julie James. Look, okay, she's the final girl. She might be a little bit boring, but that bitch has a brain. And she used it to her ability, and she really... She really did that, y'all. And you really hate on her so much, but you know what? I think that she has no choice but to stand. No, I completely agree. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Some of you really hate Julie James, and you know what? I think it's a tad bit of jealousy. I'm just gonna say Julie James has no choice but to stand. She is. We love Julie and yeah. people saying that she's boring, it's honestly unwarranted because I think about when she's like getting excited at the fact of someone getting gutted? Just, literally gutted yeah. by a hook. She loved that. Go back she and watch really that clip. No, he wasn't decapitated. He was gutted with a hook. She just turned on. Um, she is brave. She says, what are you waiting for? And her little midriff. I mean, like, like tits out. What are you waiting for, huh? She, she, she ate. She was not scared no. of the killer. She mm. she beckoned him. I loved that. Yeah, she antagonized him. Like, what What more do you want? Yeah. Julie James is anything but She's boring. Not. And also, I mean, Jennifer Love Hewitt, icon. America's sweetheart, really. Like, how could you hate? Truly. <laughs> Jennifer Love, huge tits. <laughs> You probably cast some ding bat like Jennifer Love huge tits to play me. <laughs> Julie and her bangs are everything that I wanted oh in this God. movie. I mean, poor girl. Once she finds out that someone knows what she did last summer, her hair starts falling out. And <laughs> But listen, she worked it. She did. So moral of the story is, if you hate on Julie James, you need to come message me on Twitter because I have some words for you at It's Wessons. Yeah. Thank I you. I mean, look, she's just a girl trying to survive in this crazy fucked up world yeah. so give her some credit yeah. but she's no helen shivers okay? no no one is no at summer's end i plan to move to new york city where i'll pursue a career as a serious actress two hours later let's just pretend we were never here she's an actress Helen Shivers, uh, of course, is no choice but to stand. I mean... Helen brings everything. She's bringing the one-liners. Oh. Hey, it's all about the hair. Don't you forget that. She's bringing the scream. <laughs> She's, she's bringing, bringing the drama. She's bringing one of the best chase scenes ever in a horror movie. Oh, truly. If he's a serial killer, then what's the worst that can happen? And she's bringing the crown. That's the most important part of all of this. They knew what they had with Sarah Michelle Gellar, and they rightfully put a crown on her head, <laughs> and they let her wear it because yeah. she needed to wear it, and we needed to see her wear it. Respect that. That is the most iconic thing I've ever heard. It's amazing. It is. I never thought about it that way. But she you know sleeps what? with it on. She does. Like, so would I. Me too. I just like truly believe that Helen Shivers is one of the best movie characters of all time. No, she truly is. She warms my heart. She tickles my fancy. Everyone is so shitty to her. Like, it's honestly sad. Her sister. Oh my god. We'll get. We'll to get her. to her. But oh my god. The like, the abuse that she takes. She's really the glue holding the group together. Yeah. Think about it. She's the first one to be like, this is wrong. We need to do something. Mm -hmm. She's running away because she knows that they're making a mistake. She's running away. She we literally stand. sprints. We stand she... a girl who runs from a crime scene. <laughs> we, that's our shit. I love her. Like, just pretend we were never here. I think everyone probably loves her. I mean, she knew her life was like worthy of living, yeah. so she wasn't about to go to prison. For no, her for her dumbass boyfriend, yeah. Which that's another thing. The fact that she has to put up with him, oh please. 
from the outside, I get it. No, Rusty. truly. No, and here's the thing. I get it. I get it, and I think that's why we would actually put Barry in Had Potential. Because that body, oddy, oddy is actually harboring a really vicious and mean-spirited person. Yes, but I don't I don't think Had Potential is the place for him. <laughs> you want to put him in Love Entirely? No, I want to put him in Not Our Fave. <gasps> He has a little bit of redemption. He does he's jump not, into the water um, to get Helen's crown. It's hard to say crown. he's not our fave because he's my favorite to look at. He's not even my favorite to look at when Freddie Prince is right there. Oh my I'm sorry, God. that's just the tea. It's true. So No, look, I mean, don't get me wrong, Freddie Eddie Eddie. <laughs> the facts are Barry Cox is a piece of shit. He, he was so annoying. Oh he, my God. he is the instigator for everything. He's the one that wants to dump the body. Mm-hmm. He's the one that actually makes the move to push the body into the water. Yeah. Whenever they confront him because they're concerned, he puts his hands on Julie James's neck. I repeat, he put his hands on her neck. He did that. I think I loathe. You know what? I would say that I loathe him entirely. I just changed my own mind. I loathe him entirely. It doesn't take away how fucking hot he is. It really doesn't. And I'm glad that he's in this movie and I like to have someone to hate, but he is not a good person. He's not, he's a piece of shit. He really is the entire reason this thing goes awry. If he had just been willing to tell the truth, it wasn't even a big deal. The dude was fucking alive. Yeah, it's honestly just embarrassing. It's it wasn't maddening. well thought out. Um, he's such he got a whiny he baby. Yeah, he was so annoying. Like. And I know that y'all are probably going to be mad at us for this. I'm glad that he's in the movie as a character. I think that he serves the story well. But if we're talking about a character, like, I hate him. I I loathe him. We loathe him. But you know when you, like, love to hate someone? We love to look at him, too. Exactly. There's that. Yeah. Hot me. Fuck me. Daddy better make me show. So next up we have Ray. And I think Ray slays. I think I stand. Okay, here's the thing. I'm just I'm just thinking like he actually is barely in this movie, if you think about him. He When has that stopped us before? He, from putting someone at the top. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. I'm just thinking that I don't think that he is on the level of Julie or Helen at all. It's true. You're so right. that's why I was like, I don't even think he deserves to be in that tier, but I still think that he slays, he has Julie's back, he's not the killer. No. And he's they want us fucking to think he's hot. the killer. Yeah, he Freddy is so hot. He's so cute, and it's like. He's just like a little dumb guy walking around, mm-hmm. existing, major, being hot. major himbo energy. But he was nice. He's nice. I agree. He is. He he does not deserve to be up there with Julie and Helen. No. I. And honestly, I'm some people some people would say that Julie doesn't even deserve to be on the same level as Helen. But you know, let's not pit women against each other. No, and, that's honestly sickening to hear. And speaking of, let's not pit women against each other. We have this bitch, Miss Elsa, and mm. honestly, I loathe her too. Same. Is little Miss Croker getting sautéed tonight? Oh, it's wit with a wit. Evening. She is such a fucking bitch to Helen and everyone else around her that I honestly was happy to see her go. Same. It just, for what? Like, why is she such a fucking bitch? So miserable. It was like, it was just, it's honestly just weird to me because it's like, they want to use her as the red herring, but there's no motivation for why. She's just so cruel. I never thought that she would be the killer. Elsa sucks. I she just sucks. I literally can't stand her. I hate her. Like every time she comes on the screen, <laughs> like with Barry, I love to hate. With Elsa, I'm truly she's rolling just, my eyes every yeah. time she's on screen. Rude. She's just so rude. The actress is great. Like no no No, offense. no, like, she did what she had to do. Yes, I love her. Um she mm-hmm. did a great job, but this character is just insufferable. I would tell her off. Literally, bitch, you're a twit with a fucking wit, okay? Okay, so next we have Benjamin Willis, aka Fisherman. Come on with the bad bitch magic, yeah. and I can't stand it. When I put these holes in a panic. The fucking killer. The killer. I think he slays. I mean, same. <laughs> he quite literally slays these folks with his little hook hand, but I mean, he 
gets away with this like huge mastermind of a plot, getting his vengeance on these teens who oh, left him for him. dead. They left him for dead. Tried to dump his body. Honestly, I'm like, do I stand? Like, potentially, I do because they left him to die, and he exacted revenge. Here's the thing: I don't stand actually because he killed Helen Shivers, mm. and I just can't stand a man who did that. So that's true. Fuck Sorry him for to that. This man. Okay, he slays. Correct. You know who else slays? Missy. Missy. Hey! Miss Butcher Knife, honestly. Miss Red Herring. Yeah. She's the most interesting Red Herring to me, I think. She's like knocking on the window yeah. and she's like holding the knife. Knocking? She's beating on that bitch. Yeah. She fucking like almost broke her fist through that fucking window. Literally. Hey! I'm a little confused as to what exactly she brought um, to the plot, but we loved her just the same. I mean, she brings the knowledge of what happened with yeah, I mean, Susie and so, David Egan. Right, so she's just like an exposition dump. But Basically, as a red herring. As a red herring with a twist. Yeah. But I appreciated it. I liked we it. We love her. We yeah, love her. She's, she's an icon. Yeah. She's that bitch. I'll never forget her. No, we won't. And you know who else we will never forget is Max. How about I take you out before you leave town? You know, kind of a bon voyage thing. Oh, uh... Max. Here's the thing. I think Max had potential because he it's David Galecki, he was really cute. The character was just an asshole for no reason though. Yeah. Like what's your deal, bro? It was like not enough to make me hate him because I can kind of see why he doesn't like Barry and Ray because yeah. they just are kind of, you know, douchebags who probably Truly. bullied him. I mean honestly. that's that's true, that's true. But I don't I mean he dies so early, I feel like they don't really give him a chance to even Yeah feel like a true red herring but i love johnny's performance yeah, no, i wish Johnny, he had had more to great. do but yeah i definitely agree that he had potential i think so sorry max <laughs> next we have the officer who drives helen shivers around there's been a murder and you're gonna fry in hell if you ignore it y'all this cop is a fucking dickhead literally <laughs> he is just belittling and berating helen shivers as she is stranded in the back of that cop car yeah i can't stand him he honestly is such dick he's rude mm, he's stupid nasty he is unhelpful like he no. just he's so unhelpful yeah and he dies yeah he gets what he has coming so bye we love that part yeah favorite part <laughs> I say loathe. I say loathe Honestly. Entirely. Yeah, no, I loathe him. What? What is... There's no redeeming qualities. We didn't see one. Call me never. So, next up we have the pageant MC. I think he slays. I think that he... I think he slays too. I mean, listen, he showed up. He announced Helen. It was cute. I mean, what more could he have done? Yeah, he, he was jolly. He seemed like he was having a good time. Next up, we have Mrs. James, Julie's mom, and honestly, I think <laughs> not our babe. She's a yeah. fucking bitch. Are you on drugs? What? She is so mean to Julie. She is not a good mom. She's not considerate of Julie's feelings. No. I mean, really, she just accuses her of being on drugs instead of trying to help her. She she literally says your father is rolling in his grave. Yeah. How are you going to put that on your child? That's traumatizing. The movie is about trauma. <laughs> What's stopping me from putting her at the very bottom, if we're being honest, but... Um, my OCD. The fact that I need someone in our faith. <laughs> I think she's worse than Barry. It's fine. I mean... Is she really worse than Barry? Did she run someone over? No. I just... I don't know. She's fine. She can stay where she is, but just know that you're a fucking bitch, Miss James. Last but not least, we have Deb. Oh, Queen Deb. Julie, get your white as Deb, chalky corpse, in the car, now. Which we did say in our video that we stand Deb. Mm-hmm. So, no choice but to stand. No choice but to stand, Deb. I mean, she came to Julie James, she fucking dragged her for filth, mm -hmm. literally called her a bunch of names, but maybe things that Julie needed to hear. Probably not that harsh, but the intention was there, mm -hmm. and uh, Deb has a big heart. Woo, congrats, Deb, queen. She truly deserves it. So now we're going to rank these characters within their individual mm. tiers, starting with Loathe Entirely. Look, I cannot not put Elsa at the bottom. I agree. She's I, last. I hate her. She 
oh. infuriates me. She's just so... It's like not even like, oh, she's a mean girl. She's just so rude for no reason that I don't see any other place for her no. besides the bottom. No. Room. No. I think I want to keep the cop next because the way that he was talking to Helen Shivers. Yeah, it was sickening. No one talks to Helen like that. No. Unless you're Barry. I am fine with having Barry first of last in the last tier yeah. because, like I said, he does have one redeeming quality that he jumps in the lake to get the tiara. She didn't even ask him to. Here, you can have this. I want a prize. Yeah. That was cute. No, yeah, that was, that um, was really sweet of him. So that's why he gets to be number one. Next, not our fave, Julie's mother, girl, go to therapy. Get some fucking help. Yeah. Learn how to parent without traumatizing your child. The movie is about trauma. Next up we have Max and had potential. He did. He had potential. He did. There he they is. Really could there have given, they could have beefed up his character a little. He just dies so quickly that it was almost pointless. Yeah. You could have the same movie without him and it wouldn't really make a difference. I mean, he really only shows up to scare them whenever they run over the body right. and he drives around the cliff and it's him. So that's Max. And next we're going to move up to Slays. Where I think that the MC guy, sorry, but he deserves to be in last place. Yeah. I feel like I would leave this the same, honestly. I think so. This feels right to me. So we have next, we have Missy. She ate, she slayed, she did what she had to do. She Benjamin. is no Benjamin Willis. She's no Benjamin Willis. That man slayed the house down. Boots. Literally. Quite Rain boots. literally. Yes. Yes. We saw them. Fish hook and all. But of course, we love our little fisherman, Ray. Mm. He slays. What a babe. Ray, I'm sorry we couldn't put you at the top, but we you just... You can top us. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I don't think so. So next up, we have no choice but to stand. And of course, as much as we love Deb, she just doesn't come close to no. these ladies. No. This is an easy decision, honestly. This is the easiest decision We've ever made in a tier ranking. Episode. Julie James is, of course, second under Helen Shivers. If you're gonna let me down, let me down gently. Helen! Woo! Our winner, Helen Shivers. She, she just keeps winning. I'm a winner. I'm a winner, baby. No character could come close to Helen Shivers, so of no. course she is our reigning queen. We love her. Congrats, Helen. Before we wrap up, I just wanted to mention a couple honorable mentions that we didn't have in. One would have been the crown itself. Helen's crown is quite the character. It literally goes from being on her head into the lake. Just, it deserves its own, it deserved its own spot. Sisterhood of the Traveling um, Crown. I, I agree. Julie's bangs. I thought we also could have used the fisherman as just like the silhouette of the fisherman and maybe even his hook could have been a character. Oh my god. Um, and we They're can't crazy. forget the one pageant queen who sang fame. We really should have put her in, but I think we just forgot about her because she was so minuscule, but she will live in my heart forever. She is famous. Baby, look at me. Down in the comments below, let us know what you thought of our tier ranking of I Know You Did Last Summer. Who is your queen? Is it Helen or are you more of a Julie girl? I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Flawless. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe yes, to Petty Pumpkins. Please do also follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins. We want to spill the tea with you. Thank y'all so very much for watching. We love y'all. Stay spooky. Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, I'm not into short guys. Ha, ha, ha.